So Sony released some information about PlayStation Now this week, and we got to hear a little bit about how many subscribers they have, and apparently they are actually going to release more information uh, in, in the coming months or something like that. But they did reveal how many subscribers they have, and it's 700,000. And I just don't see how you can look at this and be impressed uh, in any shape or form. This is a service that has now been on the market for five years. Now, before we get into the cloud-based stuff, let's go ahead and look at its uh, closest competition, which is Xbox Game Pass. These two services are constantly compared to one another, even though Xbox Game Pass isn't a cloud-based service. It's not game streaming. It's something that you directly download your content to, or I'm sorry, you directly download your games to a console or PC. Uh, whereas Game Pass, for most of its lifespan, has been a game streaming service, though they have recently added downloadable content as well. So, it, here's the thing. We have PlayStation Now, which has been out for five years. It came out in January of 2014. It has had a huge advantage, a huge head start over its competition, and it only has 700,000 subscribers. Whereas Xbox Game Pass, it, it's been released relatively recently, and from what we know, it has over 2 million subscribers, at least as of November 2018. As Phil Spencer talked about having 2 million, or I'm sorry, he didn't say 2 million specifically, he said we have millions of subscribers today. So now it's back in 2018, there's a very good chance that they have more subscribers now. But, you know, I do want to point out that Xbox Game Pass does go on sale quite often. But this isn't really any different than most services, whether that be Netflix or Hulu or whatever. They usually do offer that one month for free and try to see if their customers stick. You know, that they, they want to entice them first. And, and the biggest problem that I think that PlayStation now has, and I've been saying this for a very long time, is PlayStation now, it releases mostly old games. They're not bringing out current games. When I play Xbox Game Pass, which I'm a subscriber to, I love Xbox Game Pass, It, they have all their first party games release day one on their service. They also have a lot of third party games that releases their, their games very early on into Xbox Game Pass or even day one. Ashen, which I believe is one of the best RPG games of this generation, released day one on Xbox Game Pass. And you have games like Mutineer Zero, where Life is Strange 2, there is third-party games that releases day one on their service. Or they even have some newer games like Monster Hunter World. They just constantly add stuff, and I think it's just a really good service. And it's also not overly expensive. PlayStation Now, my main criticism is it's it does have a huge library. I think it's like over 500, maybe even 700 games by this point. But when I look at it, it's just a lot of old games that I personally don't really care about. I typically buy games day one, or at least within the first year that it releases. So PlayStation Now is not really an enticing service for me. Now granted, if you like PlayStation Now and you want to play some older games, that's fantastic. But I just think that that is a very limited service. And I think that's what PlayStation Now has done wrong, is they, they do limit their service a lot. Even if you look at the platforms that PlayStation Now releases on, whereas X... <laughs> okay, let me backtrack for a moment. If you look at, like, Google Stadia or Xbox xCloud, which is targeting things like Android and iOS, PlayStation Now has really only focused on their own platforms. And I think that they had released on, like, a Samsung device or something at some point. But overall, PlayStation Now hasn't really... It, it should be on Android. It should be on iOS. And I think that they have limited the service so much that it has hurt them in the long run. They should have more than 700 subscribers... I'm sorry, 700,000 subscribers by this point. Let, let's forget about Xbox Game Pass for a moment. Let's focus on Xbox xCloud, or I guess Microsoft xCloud. Let's focus on Google Stadia and Amazon or whatever they're working on. These are all huge companies that has a big cloud infrastructure. And they're going to shake up the market a lot, I believe, whenever they release their cloud-based services. 
So if these services releases and they're trying to target all these devices, Android and iOS, and they're trying to put new games on it, I mean, you're seeing Google Stadia and how many partners that they have gotten. They'll probably release Assassin's Creed day one on their service. And from what we've heard, xCloud is trying to release every Xbox game on their service day one. Apparently, it won't even take any extra work from the developers. I'll just have to click a button. So, and then you have PlayStation Now, which I often joke that it is PlayStation yesterday because it is old titles. I just think that this is such a missed opportunity that they have now been on the market for five years and they really haven't taken advantage of it. Instead of it being 700,000 subscribers, they should be a couple million in. What would happen if they released their games day one on the service? And they haven't really advertised it that greatly either. I mean, even it being on PC, because I do know that uh, PlayStation Now is on PC, I think a lot of people don't even realize that because they don't really advertise it. It just seems like such an odd thing. So they're boasting about having the biggest cloud-based service right now. I just don't think it's going to last long. I think once Google Stadia and Microsoft's xCloud comes out, I think uh, PlayStation Now is going to fall behind. Just like, I mean, we've already seen an Xbox Game Pass has eclipsed PlayStation Now in a very short period of time. And it really is because Sony has limited the services so much. I just think that this is a failure on Sony's part. But I'm not going to rant any further. I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you agree with me, great, fantastic. Uh, either way, I'm going to be out. So give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and peace out.